In today's first reading from the book of the prophet Daniel, notice how Daniel turns to the Lord and he's, he's re- praying to God, making supplication with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. So here's Daniel, he's fasting, he's covered in sackcloth and ashes, and it's noteworthy that he's really praying on behalf of the Jewish people. But notice how he says, we have sinned, and he uses, you know, he doesn't say they have sinned, he's not accusatory, but he's acknowledging that it's all the people that have sinned as a whole. Now, when we think of Daniel, Daniel was a great man. He was a very righteous man, someone who was very close to God. So he could easily have said, well, they have sinned. But he's acknowledging that he too is a sinner. In fact, in the scriptures, it mentions that the righteous man falls seven times a day. So this is the righteous man. He falls seven times a day. You and I, we probably fall way more than that. We don't even know the the amount. As I mentioned the other day, very often we commit sins and we're not even aware of it, especially sins of judgment. We very quickly make make, um, judgments of others. We look down upon them. And in one sense, we're exalting ourselves, thinking ourselves to be better than others. So a great Uh, person or someone who's truly righteous, they also tend to be humble. And in their humility, they acknowledge their own sinfulness. And because of their humility, they also recognize that they're not better than someone else. Sure, that other person may be committing great sins, but I'm a sinner too. And so I'm not going to be harsh in judging my neighbor. I might say, okay, maybe I had better education, maybe I had better training, maybe I had better opportunities, and maybe that's why I'm not as bad as that person. So I don't judge that person harshly. And this is what our Lord is getting at in today's gospel reading. He says, be merciful, just as your father is, mer- just as your father is merciful. So God is willing to forgive all of us, even the very great sinners. You know, even someone like Hitler. Imagine Hitler if he had a deathbed conversion. God would be willing to forgive him. Sure, he may have to spend a very long time in purgatory, but God would still forgive him because God is merciful. And every sin that we commit is an offense against God. And yes, some sins are greater than others. That's true. Some sins are mortal sins. But the reality is that part of what makes our sins severe is the one that we are offending. God who is so good, God who is infinite goodness, infinite beauty, infinite truth, we are offending against him. And so every sin is a great sin against God in in, in one sense. So We are all sinners, and because of this, we should be merciful in judging our fellow human beings who are also sinners. And this is why our Lord goes on to say, do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Now, when when our Lord says, do not judge, does that mean that we just turn a blind eye to everything? And that's not what he's saying. So we know this when we read it in context. In other passages, he says, you know, if you're, if somebody strays from the truth and, you know, speak to that person individually, if they don't listen to you, bring two others with you. And if they still don't listen, bring someone from the church. So in other words, our Lord wants us to recognize wrongdoing, to sometimes address wrongdoing, to to correct the wrongdoer, or to speak out against injustice in society. So in order to speak out against injustice, we have to recognize the injustice. In other words, we have to make a judgment about the injustice. But what our Lord is saying is, do not judge the heart, because we don't know what is motivating that person to act as they are acting. St. Francis de Sales says there may be a hundred reasons as to why that person is acting that way. We don't know what the reason is, what the ultimate cause is. And so we should try to come up with the most charitable explanation. In a sense, we should try to um, you know, excuse the person for their, for their sin. So when we practice this kind of mercy, God will be more merciful to us. So we tend to judge others. And, you know, I mentioned the other day that sometimes we hold on to a grudge. We're angry with someone. Well, we're judging that person. We want to condemn that person. We want that person to be punished. We want to get what we deserve. And if this is the standard that we, we hold, then we will also be harshly judged. And some people think, oh, well, I didn't do the wicked thing that he did. That may be so. 
But don't forget the just man falls seven times a day. So even though you may not have done something very wicked, you are still a sinner. We are all sinners. So if we're not willing to forgive, we may not be forgiven. So we want to forgive. We want to ask God to help us to forgive. Let us be merciful as our Heavenly Father is merciful towards us.